Dig through some of these 3M things. Like, what's the macro, what's just 3M? So there is a lot that is just 3M. So they're taking a variety of charges here. Now, some of that is restructuring. So they came out today and said they're going to cut 1,500 jobs, and they're also reorganizing the way that their business is structured. They're going to have teams reporting to their business segments rather than by geography. Now, whether or not this is just shuffling the cards around or actually going to provide meaningful change, I think, is a matter for debate. But they are also taking a charge for litigation really related to PFAS. So those are the forever chemicals that we've seen a number of different comments made by companies, including Comores, DuPont are having litigation about that as well. Interesting that they're coming out and taking a charge related to litigation, because I believe that hmm. is the first time that they've actually done that. But then, there, of course, there is the broader macro concerns. It's weak growth. They're looking for flat to up 2% on an organic basis. That is not that impressive. That is below what a lot of investors were hoping for. Now, the question with 3M is whether they are finally guiding conservatively if they figured this out after having to repeatedly cut their guidance over 2019 or if this is just the reality for the industrial economy. Hmm. It's quite a few years since I visited them, but one of the big themes they had was the amount of innovation they had, the amount of new products coming. Something like 30% of sales were from products invented in the last few years. Hmm. So that, that concerns me that now you're concerned about organic growth because that suggests the efficacy of that R&D pipeline isn't as high as it used to be. And it's interesting that you pick up on that because they have historically been an R&D heavy yep. company and they have not done acquisitions. But hmm. last year they came out and they bought Accelity for nearly $7 billion. That was a significant strange change in strategy and to me that signaled that R&D pipeline is not working as well as it once was. You feel a need to shell out billions on a massive deal with questionable returns. I mean, there's a lot of questions about whether or not they're going to actually get what they expect to get out of that deal, considering that company was private. It was rather well managed. The margins are already pretty high there. So are they necessarily right. going to see the cost savings that they're hoping yeah, for? Yeah, it's very hard to see the synergies out of that, especially when you pay $7 billion up front. Yeah. Exactly. Okay.